Welcome to our gay amazing new flat. <laughs> our flat's gay amazing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi everyone. Oh my gosh. I oh how I haven't shaved. I look like crap. But we needed to make this video. You look nice. <laughs> you look nice. We live in a new house. We do. We have. We've moved house, and we have moved into a two-bedroom flat. Just us two, because we just. Shall I give them our address? Yes. <laughs> we decided that me and Callum work a lot better as a duo. I've lived in London for like three and a half years now, and I've lived with so many different people. I just want to be with somebody who it works with and somebody who I'm friends with. And I've lived with Rowley for two years now mm -hmm. and it, it just fits nicely yeah. for me. And I and I really love the idea of just living with you. A little, little while ago, we in our house, we had our housemate Kieran. Yes. And I loved him so much and I felt like he was a really good like go between because we were both other YouTubers, he wasn't a YouTuber and it was very sort of like, I felt like he was like the level headed dad who like looked after us. <laughs> yeah, he like 100% he like grounded us. Yeah, and like when he left it was never really the same and I think no. when you live with someone for like a long period of time and they leave, like it just doesn't... Yeah, because I, I lived with Kieran for t like two years. Yeah, a year before even I moved in. And I saw him, I honestly saw him like a little brother. And so that, and I moved into that home with him before mm -hmm. Rody came in. So yeah. when he left that home, it just didn't feel the same anymore. Yeah, and I, I missed him a lot, a yeah. lot. So we have been here for a couple of days now. But like, we took, oh my gosh, can we talk about the stress that we had moving house? I honestly, if I was not bald already, I would have lost my hair due to stress. We were mucked around by so many different estate agents. So many. So many people like, you were like, oh yeah, we put it off in this place, it'll be fine. If we go to this place, it'll be fine. We actually had a place that was near here and we were gonna get that flat and we loved it so much. And the person was like, oh, we don't want to give it to you because um, you're because friends. You're friends, yeah. Like they, they just wanted couples to live there. And like, we even, we even considered pretending to be a couple. Yeah, we just wanted so... this place so badly. And they just wouldn't give it to us. It's like, just take our money! <laughs> We're trying to give you, it was so expensive as well compared yeah, and to there this was like, place. And there was like an empty flat, like no one's buying it. Like why not, like... Yeah, it's still empty. We can see it from here. <laughs> it's still <laughs> empty. Like couples can break up. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we know about couples breaking up, but like... And then like there was another estate agent, so like we said they were like, oh if you put an offer down the house you can get it. Put the offer, put, we put like a deposit on, and then like they were like, oh no, you can't have it. We want more money. But you just said to us that we could have it. Yeah. And, and now they still haven't <laughs> given back my deposit money. Still. Still haven't given it. And that was like two and a half weeks ago. Longer now. than that. So it's, it's been real, ages yeah. and they still haven't given the money back. And we also stressed on the very last day because some of the paperwork didn't get to the estate agents the last day and then we I had to go like running around trying to print off some stuff before it got there and it was just like it and was. And I just... had to move all the boxes out of yeah. the old house yeah. by myself. Yeah, and that wasn't intentional. That wasn't my secret intention. <laughs> I literally was awake for 48 hours when we moved. 48 yeah. hours. Um, and it's just been a complete and utter mess. But we got here, we love it, we're very, very happy. Um, I will be doing like a house tour when it gets a little bit clean. Obviously things are still a little bit scatty around everywhere. Um, scatty? Scatty, yeah, scatty. Like scat play? No, not. <laughs> I don't know what you've been doing in no, here. No, I, I was talking about me, ba 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 da ba 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 da ba When someone's scatty, it means it's sort of like, ooh, huh, Gary's a bit scatty. <laughs> I love you, Gary! <laughs> So we had an amazing two years together at the other place and I will miss it a lot. Like this, that was my first ever place like living outside of Devon. Like my first home lived like being more self-sufficient and actually being like, you know, completely self-supported. So like it will definitely hold like a, like a soft spot in my heart. Like the East Village was really lovely. Like we did enjoy it there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so exactly the same for me. I mean, it was like my 59th home. <laughs> but except for the house I grew up in, I stayed in that place longer than I've stayed anywhere in my entire life. So, yeah. and the amount of memories, the amount of, I mean, it was two years for Rowley and three years for me. The amount of memories that that place I made in three years and the amount of YouTubers that filmed there. Exactly, oh my God. It was <laughs> must have at least, we're talking at least 50 YouTubers have filmed in that house, if not more. Yep. So many We basically people. became the YouTube space. Yeah, it was like yeah, a YouTube I got nothing house. Else, bitch. <laughs> Weird thing is, I, I, I feel like that's still our home and I feel like we're just over here. And yeah, I keep yeah. Meet, and I keep wanting to go back. Like last night after work, um, I went out for dinner in town. Then after dinner in town, I almost went back to the East Village. <laughs> 
And I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't live there anymore. So it is the best time of year now because Halloween is approaching. Boogie boogie. We're gonna decorate the house very soon, make it all look spooky because spooky. we have to. We're gonna have a little Halloween party, which we're really excited about. So, so excited about that. There's gonna be lots of like spooky rich videos. I've got like a, another pickup line video to do with Callum. We're gonna do spooky pickup and lines. pumpkins. Pumpkin carvings coming. Oh my God, we're so excited. We're like, we've literally moved on the best time. Yeah. And now that our house is a little bit smaller than it was before, like it's gonna be great to decorate. Like, oh, it's nice and cozy and like we did. That, that last place was so big. It was really big. And yeah. it was hard to do. We did successfully decorate the whole thing for Halloween, yeah. but it was it was it was work. And you think the last the last like few weeks that we lived there, it was just us two in that house. Yeah. And that's such a huge house just for two people. Let alone like, when he would disappear, and then I'm there like going, This place is haunted. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this video was just a little update just to let you know what's going on with our lives. I just wanna say that obviously now that it is just us two, um, we're like a lot more happier now. Um, and it just, it's just, this is the best situation we could have been in. So we love you. Thank you for all your support. I adore you. Massive shout out to Kelly and Stephanie on the top two patrons. There's a patron link down there also. And we love you. Thanks for your support. And we're just very happy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>